welcome back for day number two of our holiday Bible Club, Forky's Great Escape. Yesterday, if you were with us, we learned the exciting story of a boy called David who no one expected to be able to kill the giant Goliath, but God had big plans for him. And we also learned about Forky, who no one expected to be Bonnie's favorite toy, because after all, he's made out of rubbish. But Bonnie had big plans for Forky too, and we learned how God has big plans for you. It doesn't matter if we don't think that we have anything special to offer, or even if nobody else has told us that we have anything special to offer. God says you are his masterpiece, and he has a big plan for your life. To learn about a second character from Toy Story who helped Forky on his journey. I think you might know who he is. He has a catchphrase that goes a little bit like this, to infinity and beyond. Do you know who that is? Have a think, let's see. Is it Mr. Potato Head? Or is it Woody the Cowboy? Or is it Buzz Lightyear? That's right, it's Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. So Buzz's catchphrase is to infinity and beyond, but tonight's Bible story is about a man who would have followed God to infinity and beyond because he trusted him with his whole life. Let's listen to his story now. This is the story of Noah and the Ark. All of the people on the earth had become very evil. They did awful things to each other. And this made God's heart very sad. He wished that he had never created them. But God did find one good man. His name was Noah. He did what was right and he lived his life for God. God told Noah that he was going to send a flood and so Noah should build an ark. He told Noah exactly how he should build it. Noah followed God's instructions and built the ark. The people thought he was crazy, building a big boat in the middle of dry land. But Noah trusted God and knew that he had a plan. As the rain began, Noah and his family entered the ark. God had told Noah to bring two of every sort of animal into the ark with them, along with lots of food for everyone to eat. And so this is what Noah did. The rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights. Soon the whole world was covered in water. Eventually the water began to disappear. And Noah, his family and all the animals were able to come out of the ark onto dry land. They said thank you to God for saving them from the flood. God put a rainbow in the sky and said that this was a sign of his promise to never flood the earth again. The people must have thought that Noah was crazy building a massive boat when there wasn't even a sign of any rain. But Noah trusted that God's plan for him was the best plan. And he trusted what God said more than what anyone else said. He trusted God to infinity and beyond. Forky also had to learn to trust what Bonnie said to him. And God wants us to trust him to infinity and beyond. He wants us to trust that his plan for our life is the best plan and that the things that he says about us in the Bible, they are true. So just some of the things that God says about you are that he created you, that he made you for a special purpose, that you are his masterpiece, that he loves you and you are so important to him. And he will forgive you and make you a part of his family if you ask Jesus into your life. I hope that today, like Noah, you will trust God to infinity and beyond. Thank you for listening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.